Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to extrapolate graphs. Now, extrapolation in a general sense is when you are given a small piece of information, perhaps a handful of points or just a portion of a graph, and you are asked to use that information to try to make predictions about data outside of that set. So, for example, let's say that we are given a handful of points on our xy plane, like this. And we are told that the function that this is graphing will be continuous, so we can assume that it will be some sort of smooth curve. And we want to try to predict what the behavior of the function will be out here, even though we haven't actually been given any data. And realistically, there's a handful of different options for what might happen. It could grow smoothly like this and then rapidly shoot up towards infinity. It could grow smoothly again, but then for some reason shoot down towards negative infinity. Another possibility is that it grows, decays, and grows it again. It keeps bouncing up and down. And finally, another possibility is that it grows and then approaches some value, but never actually gets there. So when you're trying to decide which one of these shapes a function or its graph might take, it's important to keep in mind what the function is modeling. Let's say, for example, that we know that our, the points that we were given represent a function of how many hours an electric generator has been on, where the y values represent the temperature of the room that the generator is sitting in. As an example, well, we know that if the temp if the generator keeps running, the temperature is probably not going to just drop arbitrarily like that, and it's probably not going to shoot up towards infinity. You're not going to have an infinitely hot room, and unless you're given more specific information about how the generator works, it's probably not going to be periodic. But it is fairly reasonable to say that there is some maximum temperature that a generator can theoretically heat up to. But that, for all intents and purposes, we can say that doesn't actually get there. And that it approaches that value asymptotically. Well, if that's the assumption you're working with when you're trying to graph your generator curve, then this yellow curve might be your best bet. OK. Well, let's suppose that these data points that we had earlier, which have now been buried, represent something else. Let's say the x values represent the number of months from a given date, and the y value represents the average temperature of a particular region on that date. Well, since the Earth just travels around the sun and cycles through the same four seasons each year, you would imagine that it's probably true that this is going to be periodic. Because every time you get to, say, for example, January 15th, the average temperature across all years in that region is going to be the same. So then we, we use our green curve. Nice long swooping up and down, which can be modeled with, for example, a trigonometric function. And Let's try to see if we can come up with an example for something that would follow this pink curve that shoots up towards infinity. Well, suppose that the x values represent the number of pounds of some consumer good, perhaps lobster, and the y values represent the price. And it seems fairly reasonable to say that this will increase like this, and then perhaps at some value, for whatever reason, due to the nature that the product is being packaged, the rate of increase slows down before it shoots up again. That could be a fairly reasonable model for the price of a good as a function of how much of it is being bought. So really, there's a number of different options given whatever pieces of information you have. You just have to analyze what the function is trying to model and determine what behavior you would expect such a function to have in the long run. And then just connect your dots whatever behavior you're anticipating, and you're good to go. 
My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to extrapolate a graph.